Kavina Singh moved to New York eight years ago, and she has contributed to the Newar community through her various traditional dance performances. Her Newar roots begin in Kokona. an indigenous Newari village south of Kathmandu, which is known for its ancient aromatic mustard oil. This is Nepal, especially the people who are living in the world. They are living in the world. They are living in the world. They are the in the culture of Newars, Saga is given in most life cycle rituals, such as birthdays, weddings, and many other celebrations. Saga is a blessing given in form of auspicious food to invoke good fortune. Beginning from the age of two, a Newar child gets a birthday saga every year. As we will demonstrate, saga is only one part of the birthday ceremony. Newar was a birthday, a birthday, a birthday. Birthday, I was like, I must take a birthday, I must take the next side. I was like, what is a birthday? I was like, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. To do a Newar birthday at home, you will need to gather a few ingredients and utensils. First, you will need a Newar style oil lamp with an image of Ganesh, called Sukunda. Fill the well with some oil and place a pair of Ita, or handmade cotton wig, so you can light the Sukunda. Second, you will need to prepare a Pujbabhu by getting some Dupyan, or incense, some Deva, or coins, some Swa, or flowers, a laddu for Ganesh, since it is his favorite sweet, some jaki or rice, some sinaw or vermilion powder, preferably red and yellow, but in absence of yellow powder, you can just use red. For the saga, you will need some ke or hard boiled fried eggs, some wo or lentil pancakes, some nya or fried fish, and finally, you will need jal or pure water, some dhau or yogurt, and some duru or milk. Most adults prefer ayla or alcohol in place of milk. Also, do not forget to set a gift on a tray for the end of the birthday ritual. Now let us prepare the space for the ritual. Birthday or any other puja is done on the floor. The birthday person should typically sit facing east or west. The sukunda is placed on the right side over a leaf or flowers. Only after the birthday person is seated, light the sukunda to start the birthday ritual or the puja. Sukunda represents Ganesh, who is known as an auspicious god and is believed to bring luck in one's life. Now place a second piece of leaf in front of the birthday person so they can do offerings on it. We will now first perform Ganesh Puja. Take some jal and sprinkle it over the sukunda. Jal purifies the space. Hence we start every puja by sprinkling jal. Take some yellow vermilion powder and place it on Ganesh's forehead with your ring finger. And then repeat the process using red vermilion. Place some flowers over Ganesh, then sprinkle some rice over the sukunda. Ganesh also gets the laddu or any other sweets or fruits. Then the final step of Ganesh Puja is to light and offer an incense. Now the birthday person will repeat the entire process. First cleanse and purify the hands of the birthday person three times. He will then take some water and purify the sukunda three times. 
Doing rituals three times is the key component for any Newar Puja. It adds assurance since one cannot go wrong the third time. The birthday person now does Ganesh Puja as instructed by the Puja performer. Giving dan or donation on your birthday brings punya, which means earning merits. The birthday person offers some coins to Ganesh, symbolizing giving dan. In the next step, put some flour and rice in birthday person's hands. Have them separate the flowers into several pieces and ask them to think of as many gods and deities as they can. Using the leaf as an offering space, make offerings to the gods and deities invoked. Repeat three times and ask for blessing on this auspicious day of birth. Now make some rice grains, red vermilion powder, and yogurt to make jackie sino. Put some on Ganesh's forehead first, then put some on your own forehead. It is considered bad omen to offer sino to others with an empty forehead. Finally, put some sino on the forehead of the birthday person. Following the Jackie sino, place a flower and birthday person's right ear. For females, use the left. Next, sprinkle some rice as blessing. Mark the Ganesha's right temple with tiny speck of yogurt and do the same to the birthday person. This marks the end of the puja ritual, which allows us to move to the sangha part. But first, end the puja ritual by having the birthday person bow to the puja bhu and the yogurt cup. First, with your left hand, grab the milk and with the right, grab an egg, a fish, and a lentil pancake. Offer this combination to Ganesh and place it on the floor next to the Sukunda. Then give some milk to the Ganesh by sprinkling it three times. Now repeat this process for the birthday person. Make sure you give the egg, fish, and lentil pancake with your right hand to his right hand and the milk from your left to his left. Ask the birthday person to take a bite of an egg and fish and take a sip of milk one after the other. Pour a small amount of milk to refill his cup and repeat the process to complete three times. Remember, alcohol can be substituted for adults. Grab the gift with one hand and jal with the other. Use the jal to cleanse the birthday person's hands. Place some flour and some rice on the birthday person's hands and have him do puja on the birthday gift. Have him bow to the present, then have him bow to Sukunda three times and he is now free to exit the ceremony area along with his gift. After the ceremony is completed, you may offer sino to all the family members and guests present in this auspicious occasion and afterwards offer them the remaining saga of eggs, fish and lentil pancakes as well. Bidesh no san chai ji san thomas de ta thayu culture thayu bhasha na dasa chai in sa pakka seka kai e ja ta chai pini chona dhama chai ji san thayu culture e thanu bhai ronga thanu yo anchar ya ma dia lomanga chua sa chai mosti san seka kai mo jin sena ta li mo sa 
मस्त इमोकु थे तो इंसान आ इंटरेस्ट आया वो नहीं जिसने सेना दासा 